Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Uh, and this is all going to come from the WinLamp package, which will do all three in one go for me. We're also going to install Eclipse PHP uh, graphical user interface. This is the programming tool we're going to use to develop um, PHP stuff and SQL stuff. Uh, we're also going to, going to install Notepad++, a great little editor that can be used for actually any kind of programming. Uh, including PHP and SQL and uh, HTML, uh, very uh, a lot of support, and all three of these packages are free, open source for you to download, use, and distribute. So first of all, um, actually, I'm going to walk you through the entire thing: where to, how to download them, where to find it, how to install it. So open your favorite uh, web browser, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, Google. And uh, I'm going to search for WinLamp download, okay? And then click on the this one here where it says SourceForge Projects WinLamp, and click on Download WinLamp. So it's, it's going to start in a few seconds. If it doesn't, you can click this direct link here to download it. Now let's go grab Eclipse. So I'm going to go back to your favorite search engine. Uh, so Eclipse down Eclipse PHP download, all right? that brings you right to the PHP Eclipse download site. <clears throat> you want the all-in-one Windows one. And uh, wow, I just uh, noticed this, but they finally have it for the Mac. That's amazing. That's great. So download uh, Windows uh, Eclipse for PHP. Okay, we're going to Notepad++. Okay, Notepad++ download. Okay, it's going to bring you to notepad++.org click on the 612 installer download that and away you go so I don't actually don't need to download it because I already have these three so um, once you have them we're gonna start by installing WinLamp right so this little package like I said will install Apache web server MySQL and PHP all in one go so when you double click it just click on next next okay uh, we're going to leave most of the settings alone. So right now it's installing the Apache web server and PHP. Um, in about a second it's going to load up a web page tell me that it's done. And there it is right now. Okay. So uh, read through this, close it off. And then now what it's going to do is it's going to install MySQL. So um, we're going to leave it as most of the settings the same typical yes install it so after it installs MySQL it's just a very quick install it's going to ask me to uh, configure it to set it up so we'll just give it a second to uh, install <clears throat> okay so now it's going to walk through um, uh, configuration now in this one here I don't really want to sign up for an account so it's going to skip sign up it's asking to sign up for an online account uh, so now it's asking you to configure it so we're going to configure let's just move this up so we can see what's going on here we're going to configure it detailed configuration developer machine multifunctional database okay decision support enable TCP IP networking standard character set install as a Windows service now in this one here is asking for a password the password uh, doesn't need to be a secure one this is only going to be used for testing purposes only not for a real web environment so I'm just going to enter one dash password one dash password for the uh, for the setup click on next now uh, it's going to uh, actually install and start the service so we got four check marks, finish, and you're set to go. Okay. Now, um, so that's pretty much it. And there it is. So you notice here that I'm going to uh, localhost. Uh, so just a little bit of information about that. When you open your web browser, okay, if you type localhost, http colon four four slash localhost. Right, it's going to bring up, it's going to bring up a web page that looks like this. So, what exactly is localhost? Well, localhost is your web server, okay, and you are testing your web server by, by going to localhost. Now, where exactly is this file located? Let me show you. So, go to start computer, C, um, Apache two, 
htdocs and that file is located right there okay index <clears throat> so if you haven't guessed it already in this folder htdocs this is where you're going to put your files that you're testing your files and folders and your PHP programs and SQL stuff it's going to be in the htdocs folder so you go to localhost all right it's going to bring you to this page here okay now um a couple other things to know here uh you notice that you have apache start here you go to all programs okay you scroll down you have winlab here all right and you see here um and here's your winlab stuff okay you can start it stop it restart it and what have you um Anyways, the rest of it, I'm not going to go into too much detail at the moment because it's not relevant. So right now, we're done with that. Why don't we go with uh, an Eclipse um, setup. Now, here's how you set up Eclipse. Right-click this and go Extract All. All right, and just go ahead and extract it. Okay, so it might take a while for that package to um, uh, to unzip, but when it does, you're going to come out with a folder. Now, Eclipse is different in that you don't really need to you don't need to install it um, like most other programs. It's not going to show up in your all programs. It's just going to come out with a folder like this. So take this folder, okay, right click it, and go cut. What we're going to do is go to your computer, go to C go to program files. I'm going to put it right inside my program files here. All right. So there's my Eclipse. Now I'm going to go Eclipse. Uh, so open the Eclipse folder inside your programs file and right click Eclipse and go send to <coughs> send to desktop. All right. So now it's going to create a shortcut right on your desktop. Okay. Now when you click on this uh, and that's it for the installation. So there really is no installation for Eclipse. You just kind of open it. Now, when you start Eclipse, it's going to uh, ask you to select a workspace. So, in this case here, we want to select uh, the htdocs folder as a workspace. <clears throat> so, go to Computer, go to C, go to Apache, and go to htdocs. All right, and this sh uh, is going to be our workspace. So, we're going to develop our PHP program right inside of the htdocs folder. So when uh, PHP opens, you see this uh, uh, this kind of screen here. We don't actually don't really need the welcome screen. And you enter right into the development environment. More on PHP later. Uh, for now, we're going to exit Eclipse and we're going to install Notepad++. So double click double click the uh, installer, and this one installs like a like a like a regular program. Uh, licensing, okay. Install it, uh, and it's pretty easy why not create a shortcut on the desktop uh, give it a second to install uh, very small very light little program and um, there it is so finish run notepad plus plus and there you go okay so there you have it you have all your three programs notepad plus plus eclipse dot uh, eclipse and then you also have your Apache. Now Apache is going to run every time your computer is uh, turned on and running, so it'll run automatically. Now you don't you don't really need to worry about it taking up too much um, memory or uh, processing power. Uh, it's pretty much light and very very visible, so you don't need to worry too much about that. Um, so that's about it. So after this, we're ready to uh, start developing.